Hello, everybody. We are going to talk about addictions. Um, so when we are in the process of recovery, or maybe we are thinking to recover from the addictions, so uh, I'm going to bring up some kind of questions uh, to self-analyze, you know, like how you can actually tell yourself if you're on addictions, if you're on uh, abuse, or if you, um, you know, like might uh, educated from withdrawal process or you need to get education so um it's kind of like a uh, questions general questions you can write it down on a paper you can write down your answers over there you can write down uh, you know your thoughts about that and then you can measure like okay if you have that you know like education on it or no if you want more kind of uh, uh, knowledge about how you can actually teach yourself from the addictions so this these kind of questions will actually help you today to know about your battle so uh, as we talk about the first question which is what is the difference between substance abuse and addictions. So we know uh, addictions and substance abuse. If I will maybe ask this question to a normal person, they would say, oh, basically same. Uh, but I would say no, because uh, addictions is kind of like you are addicted to something, you are taking them again and again because of your need, physical need, mental need, psychological need, whatever. But when you abusing it, that means you know this is harmful for you. Uh, you know you cannot get it. Maybe you you know like um after a certain amount of it, but you're still taking it. Um, it's kind of like you're abusing it. Um, like you have to have it, and then you will just take it at any cost. You'll take it an unnecessary, which is not even you know like relevant to your body. Um, so when we talk about these questions, it is very important to actually ask yourself this question and then write down your answer on it. Write down your thoughts on it. What do you think if there is any difference? If there is, then please write down the difference you know, what you think substance abuses, and then what is addictions. And the second question is, what is physical addiction? Um, so this is very common question. Again, you know, you kind of need to write down what is physical addiction. So physical addictions, if I would write down, it would be like if my body is uh, maybe shaking because of something, you know, like if I, or maybe I'm taking uh, sleep medication and, and now I suddenly stopped it. Um, and after stopping, I, I realized, no, I need it because my body reacts in a way just because of that. So because of that thing, I need it. And then now I'm in addiction that I cannot quit it. So this is something like you have to write down about to your physical addiction. But what is your physical addiction? And another question is, what is tolerance? Um, so if I would answer this question, it would be like um, maybe one tablet of my sleep medication a day. This is my tolerance. I cannot take actually more than that. So you need to tell about your tolerance to yourself. Like, you know, if you're taking any kind of uh, substance, so what is actually a tolerance look like to you? Like if you are taking it more than usual, if you're taking it as prescribed, if you're taking it just randomly without even any prescription. Uh, another question is what uh, is withdrawal? So withdrawal, when, when we talk about, you know, like we are quitting something, any kind of substance, it could be even a cigarette. Uh, cigarette. And um, if you feel like, oh, my, you know, like as I, I gave you an example earlier, like if I'm quitting my uh, sleep medication, you know, my body is reacting in some way, that is kind of like a withdrawal sign um, because my body is telling me, you know, like, oh, I am actually on withdrawal, like why I stopped taking it. So as compared to like, of course, every single person has their own experiences, you know, like they might, their withdrawal might be different than mine and their withdrawal signs could be different. 
their withdrawal experience, their withdrawal journey would be uh, different. So it's very important to actually write down your thoughts if you ever did this, how was it? And then if not, then what are your thoughts that what is withdrawal and then how could you think it might affect you? Psychological addiction. So again, after physical, then it's psychological. So if I feel like oh, my body is not giving me any kind of sign, but you know, like it's just me, I want to take it. So that means it is my psychological need because my brain kind of telling me, you know, oh no, you need it. Like as soon as I'm saying it, it's something like my brain is like, oh, I need that pleasure again. I need this thing, you know. This is psychological addiction that in your brain, you're addicted to it. You, your body is not actually demanding for it anymore. Um, And it's your brain now, like you're totally depending on it. And another is what are some warning signs that someone has uh, a drug problem? So it could be you need to tell like, you know, what are the warning signs? So if I feel like, you know, my um brain is kind of telling me to take it a psychological addiction, you know, like physical addiction or maybe withdrawal signs like, you know, like um uh, because I cannot actually tolerate my withdrawal signs, I need it again. So these kind of like warning signs actually to tell you that, you know, you have that drug problem now because your body, your uh, mind, even though you are telling yourself that you need it. So these are just some general questions. You can find it anywhere on the internet. You know, these are very common questions. Uh, you can ask yourself. Or, and even though you can get education on these, you know, like uh, to know about your science, to know about your withdrawal um, science, you can actually tell about uh, these kind of answers to maybe your doctor, you know, and they can actually help you out with that. So don't forget to talk to your counselor as well. They can actually help you with your lab. Thank you so much.